you guys, it's your girl Earth Mother. Welcome back to my channel. So if y'all read the title, then y'all already know what we're talking about today. I don't have any notes for this video. I just kind of want to talk about what's going on. Um, if you don't know what's going on, um, I'm going to say last night because it was last night, but it's probably a couple days ago at this point. Tory Lanez dropped an album um, kind of addressing everything going on with him and Meg. Tory Lanez is a bitch. I want to solidify that like right off the gate before we go any further because I've never seen somebody like at least with Chris Brown he kind of knew to like after his apology tour and everything like that like he kind of knew to step away from the spotlight like he knew people were not feeling him Tory Lanez is such a narcissist that he can't even like he stepped away because he was told to step away number one but he didn't even fully step away because he was making comments, he was liking shade room posts, he was being shady on Instagram. He was not fully missing and gone, but he pretended to be. The fact that he feels that it's okay for him to still somehow profit off of shooting Meg the Stallion is like a level of narcissist sociopath like behaviors that I can't even it, like I can't even identify with it for somebody to be so insecure with his height obviously he's insecure whenever it comes to women he's shooting women he has he feels he has no power and I know that people hate equating it to little man syndrome and I understand that as well because there's a lot of short a lot of short kings that don't act like Tori but there is a reason maybe it's because he went bald at like 12. i don't know i don't know but there is a reason that tory lanes is so insecure that he feels like he has to one shoot women period like the fact that you feel you have you have no other power but to be violent towards women and that's how you're gonna i guess what win <laughs> win is that what you think you did here because the the way you fumbled your bag and then like i'm also so pissed off all the rappers but we'll get to them in a second the fact that you're addressing women on a track like see this is whenever i would tell niggas to stay out of women's business this is whenever i would go to that level because it's like you're addressing women like why are you addressing why are you addressing kaylani why are you addressing asian doll um dream doll like masika like why is this gonna be your legacy now you got out of your record label you owned your masters you had quarantine radio like you were arguably at your peak in your career at the beginning of this quarantine to work to do that like you had to work to to fumble your bag and mess up everything for yourself and then like you're pulling this whole like smear campaign thing like the same thing that joe budden is doing and i saw a tweet earlier that said hip-hop would not survive a me too movement and then i saw um either my mutual like a mutual of mine either retweeted it or um like tw tweeted quote it herself and it said yeah it would because most of the victims are black women I want us to also remember that black gay men are on the other end of this violence um not just like homophobic wise but romantically like a lot of these famous males whether they're rappers or athletes are gay or bisexual and so they're also being violent towards not just black women but black men and how they treat black women in public i can only imagine what they do to black men in private the fact that they're nice enough to not air y'all's business out because a lot of people would just because of the way that y'all treat like people because you're so entitled like whenever i run into these rappers and like athletes and stuff and it's not hard to do in houston it's not hard to do at all don't get me wrong there are some very very sweet you know um famous male like rappers and athletes however a lot of them give me to be honest a lot of them give me coercion vibes like power dynamic like using their power dynamic like using their fame just to get it like it's so like because they obviously have no personality or nothing else to offer besides like their money and you being seen with them and that's what they think like it takes but like anyways that's the whole thing but I say that to say that because a lot of these men are like that, they stick together. So the reason that hip hop would survive a Me Too movement is because one, yes, a lot of the violence is towards black women and black gay men. And two, because a lot of them are alike, they all stick together. I'm just thinking of like the rappers that have came out alone, like that have gotten in trouble this year alone. Tory Lanez, Joe Budden, uh, Talib Kweli or whatever, um, Common, like, that, I just named four off the top of my head. 
like off the top of my head and I'm sure if I think of more I can keep going like a lot Nelly like I and I love Nelly and but I'm just he was a cute usher like he's not a rapper but you all get what I'm saying like y'all get where I'm going with it a lot of these males are the same of you have your own stories that have not came out and a lot of you are violent towards women and a lot of you secretly agree with him and I'm glad that T.I. is just coming out like <laughs> Like saying, like saying how he really feels because T.I. really hates women. Like we know this. Like T.I., for example, like he does not respect women. So he is coming to bat for Tory because he doesn't respect women. He doesn't respect his own. He doesn't respect the women closest to him. So if you think he respects women around him, nah, no. The fact that the baby hasn't said anything, Diddy hasn't said anything, J I'm, even Jay-Z, like Rock Nation, like I... I I saw these on Twitter. You're coming to bat for Chris Brown saying he's been leading his life trying to be a, a good black man. What, what about Chris Brown has shown us that he's trying to be a strong black man? The only thing that we have been seeing him do for the past 10 years, hey, his albums with 35 tracks, uh, does coke in the club every five seconds, and then harasses Kurji. <laughs> And like, and it has babies that nobody knows where, and then, and then harasses Rihanna. Like, that's what he does. That's what his legacy is going to be. Like, that's what we see him do. So wh what are you talking about, Tory Lanez? Like, what? Okay, so this is his song, Sorry But I Had To. I went independent. These niggas want my demise. You know, you want, you <laughs> wanted your demise. How you protected me, but made this whole plan to fry me. Oh, okay, so he's talking to Meg right here. So he's talking to Meg. Since the event, you never called. Since the event, you never called me, but you can't deny me. Oh, you're insane. Weird. If you got shot from behind, how can you identify me? What? Oh my God. Oh my God. So let me get this straight. There were four people in the car. Meg. Tori, Kelsey, her best friend, and the security guard? And you are meaning to tell me that out of those three people, like, and all talking, but shoddy, I don't know you. I never met you, nor have I heard a song. Y'all gonna quit playing with Asian Doll. Asian Doll is from Dallas. She does not play. Her boyfriend, I don't know if they're still together. I think his name is King Bob. Oh, no. <laughs> then I saw Asian Doll, like, right before I had filmed this started filming this video she was like tweeting like about tori needing to be in a body bag see why is it okay i feel like the women like and it's not because they're women and they just have a lot of mouth like i feel like the rappers i'm actually not gonna refer to male rappers anymore as rappers if i do i will be calling them male rappers and when i'm talking about rappers i'm specifically talking about women because they're the only ones that are rapping currently um why is it that jt asian doll like kaylani even though she's not a rapper but y'all know what i'm saying why is it like jt even said like he deserved to be shot back asian doll saying this nigga needs to be in a body bag why do they have more smoke for Tory than the men? Like, <laughs> y'all don't care. And I do think it's very interesting that it's a lot of dark-skinned women saying things. Um, Mulatto, where you at? <laughs> like, Doja Cat. I appreciate Kehlani. Where are y'all at? Rico Nasty. Like, I... Hat is off. Behind the tattered skin, you batter with scatter scattered scars. But I still respect and help you. He's like gaslighting. Like he is so, he is a master gaslighter. Wait, whoa. Oh, this is where he's addressing JoJo. Which how dare you? Like how dare you? I know one Tory Lane song. One Tory Lane song. Because he didn't even have like the like the competence to push his album during quarantine radio. So I know one song. Why is he addressing JoJo? Wait, okay. Oh, some of these are highlighted. Genius so messy. Genius is so messy. <laughs> inside a pool that in Kylie's face was looking heavenly what okay this no because he's literally trying to get at Kylie in a song talking shit to Meg remember whenever I said that black men and white women's politics align I just want y'all to remember that roll in riding benches nigga I'm from the trenches nigga you're from Canada like <laughs> Like, what? 
<laughs> this nigga's from Canada. Jealous feelings niggas best at catching like they Odell. It's rap niggas out here telling Megan she should go tell. Actually, no, it's not. Like, you just lied. You literally just lied because nobody is telling her that. No diss to pimp and bun, but you made big pimping. Some pouring champagne on women's faces while they flick their tongue. I'm too young to give you lessons, but I'd give you one. Look about my case. I ain't convicted, son. Oh, no, no. Not you really playing in bun's face. Are you dumb? Okay, okay. Give me one Dream Doll hit record. I'll wait. Hey, Masika, this is your chance. You in every Twitter debate and every shade room comment as are you this is not good like this is just not good they're not good disses like there's nothing there's no sting to it it just sounds like you're ranting oh, you're talking about somebody like a woman's kids like Fetty Wap is gonna shoot your whole face off when Michael Jackson Prince got their masters back what happened Tory Lanez got his masters back but just now look what happened what happened is that you shot Meg Thee Stallion action a rapper catch a domestic yes why would we not y'all start to talk bad action yeah why would we not like why would we not why would we not like i just want to hit like what are you like what are you why would we not that happened they want the downfall of every black man but i ain't going there is a very um interesting like i'm sure that there's articles about it and like i'm sure like tumblr has talked about this like in 2000 like 12 but there it is so interesting how much of black like straight black men charles barkley for instance like straight black men hate black twitter and i think it is because like black twitter and i think it is because it consists of women and lgbtq folks like our voices like we are a very loud minority but last night like People make fun of black, uh, specifically, 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 specifically black American women and LGBTQ folks. Y'all make fun of us all the time and then try to emulate every single thing that we do. Somebody's got to hold y'all accountable because these other niggas ain't doing it. Like they're not doing it. Smino came out last night and said, I love them. I love Meg Thee Stein. Like, why can y'all not just, why can y'all not just like actually care about black women? Like y'all literally only would do it to talk about it in a podcast. And I'm like, I'm looking at you, Charlamagne. I'm looking at you, Joe Budden. I'm looking at you, T.I. I'm looking at you, Lil Wayne. All these people, DJ Khaled. All of y'all have podcasts, radio shows. All do is talk. There's no action behind your words. There's no action behind your words. This week, Meg was like on Times 100, Top 100 list for the most influential people. The fact that there's a girl like... I think she's like two or three years older than me from my city like on the top 100 like it gives me chills like I'm literally so proud of her like I'm so freaking proud of her and the fact that this could happen to her and there's not more outrage like why why is there not more outrage and it's so interesting it's so interesting whenever you look back and you see like how pissed off people were at Chris Brown for what they did to Rihanna and there's not really that same sense of like urgency for men number one I think it's because she is brown skin like she is she doesn't look like Rihanna and she I think she's desirable but a lot of people probably wouldn't say this maybe would it say the same I don't know like I do think that she is looked she also because she's a rapper and because she's a brown skin rapper she's looked at as more aggressive more hard like she has harder bars than any of these rappers so people People look at her and think oh like you you can handle yourself like you'll be fine and Rihanna was looked at as like the delicate pop star and like you know we had pictures of like her face like really messed up from Chris Brown so we you like we gave her that you know what I'm saying like we gave her that but the fact that we are in such a more sensitive time and Meg is still not getting like the love and like like these people like he needs to be excommunicated like there needs to be no talking to him like there doesn't we don't need to hear anything like we don't need to hear anything we don't need to hear anything from the rappers trying to defend him we don't need to hear anything from him he shouldn't be able to profit off of this like they need to like w like get this nigga out of here period he needs to be done he needs to move back to canada take his bald-headed ass and work up at subway and that's it like that's literally it that's all there needs to be nothing else talked about Y'all really think about this and it could like get somebody emotional if you really think about it. You're going through the best and the worst times of your life. You don't have your mom. You don't have your dad. You don't have your grandma. Your mom, your dad, and your grandma. And the fact that she's doing this with so much criticism, like at her age, like, like I don't want to hear anybody talking about her responding she has a self-discipline and like determination like I, that i've never seen 
and we need to give her that and we need to respect her that and I hope that she's okay I genuinely just hope that Meg is okay and I hope that she does have people around her and in her corner that like genuinely love her and want the best for her and don't just want her fame I really do and I really hope that Tori rots <laughs> period so anyways um I hope you guys like this video I love y'all and I will see you in the next one